suicidal. Just just letting the game decide what we're playing all day long today. I don't want to make decisions, you know? I don't want to have to be uh, the person who makes the decisions. I like I like letting the game make them for me. It's been going pretty good so far. I haven't got any maps that I wouldn't want to play. No descent. No, you know, killing floor, or killing room, or killing box, or whatever, you know? None of those, like, dumb endless maps, which I like playing on sometimes, but... Not, uh, not, not, not often. I'm definitely not in the mood for it right now. But sometimes they're nice, you know? Sometimes they're nice. Biotic Lab I like. It's like, uh, I kind of view it as bio, uh, as bio laps, but just, um, more open. You get to, you get to decide which section you want to be in, you know? Objective mode sucks, but that's kind of true of every objective mode. They all suck. When are we going to get back on achievement hunting? I don't know. Soon? Next week, maybe? Um... I just I, I I got really demotivated when we did it that one time because it was like the least fun I've had playing Killing Floor 2 like ever, and uh, I didn't want to do it. Honestly, if I'm gonna be doing it, I I probably want to do it online, do some online matches because that makes it more fun when you got other people. It makes it go by quicker. But I don't know how I'd want to handle online stuff because uh, I can't do the same map twice. Can't do the same map twice when you're online. And you can, but <laughs> it's not necessarily going to go great. Um, you know, everybody votes on it, and people leave, and then there's not really everybody there anymore, and you have to like find a way into a party. It's just it's a pain in the butt. Online is a pain in the butt for making videos on it. But uh, like, I want to do them online just because it would be more fun. But then I, I don't get to control what map it is, so I don't know if it would even be viable, but... What I want, I tell you, I tell you what I want. What I want is, is uh, some friends who play the game, who I can do some of these things with. You know, make it a little bit easier for me. As a, as a content creator. That'd be good. Getting a lot of viewers lately, too. Like, I just looked at my... Uh, Recent videos that went up, and we got like 8 views, 5 views, 10 views, 20 views, you know, like 2, 3 likes on some videos. Like, we're doing really, really good on this channel, which feels really good, but then also feels kind of bad because we're kind of like ditching this channel. But <laughs> it feels really good to see that. Um, feels really, really good to see that. Um, but, you know. It is, it is kind of like a dead channel, I'm kind of not killing it off, but it's, it's kind of, it's not my main, it's not going to be my main focus going forward. I haven't messaged anybody else about uh, getting a commission yet for the new stuff. I should do that today. I'm just, uh, there's a lot, this is a busy week, man. I had to get up so early tomorrow for D&D, &D and I had uh, all these recordings to do today. I got one more to do after this, I'm not sure I'll do it. I might just record it on like Sunday or something. I don't have, uh, like an awful lot to do, so I don't mind recording a little bit on the weekend, you know? Like, a video isn't that bad. It's not that bad. I get a Saturday off anyway, if I, uh, just record this one. I get Saturday totally off, and then Sunday is low stress, because it's just, uh, get it done before the end of Saturday, or before the end of Sunday, you know? So this video goes up Sunday night. So I don't have to worry. Did I, I, like, bumped into something here. That was weird. Uh, this video goes up Sunday night, so I, you know, I can record it at like 7.30 Sunday night if I want to. That gives me a, a good amount of time as a, as a break from uh, the grind here. Oh, I shouldn't have shot you. I should have let the husk shoot you, dude. I messed up, man. I messed up, dude. I'm, uh, you know, the the skins, the skins in KF2, they, uh, they mess me up sometimes, you know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm super used to these skins now, right? Like, I'm, this, this is what the game looks like to me now. 
Like this is this is what the the Zeds look like. I, I know I named my channels Yama Zombies instead of Yama Zeds. Um, that was for marketing purposes. It seems to be working. <laughs> um, but uh, anyway, so uh, these Zeds here, this is what they look like, right? Like this is this is them, you know. And uh, it's okay for them to look like this. I like the. Halloween Zeds, honestly. I think I said I didn't like them initially, but I just don't like change. And I think I probably said that, too. It's the change that I don't like, not the zombies. Not the Zeds. Um, but this is what they look like, right? And we're going to be getting uh, new skins coming up soon. And I'm going to be like, man, it's weird seeing the the new skin or the, the original skins, because, like, they're going to look so weird, dude. They're going to look so weird. I don't know. You get used to it pretty quick, but... That's the thing, right? Is you, you get so used to it so quickly, and then it's just like a little while later, and that's just the norm, and then you switch back, and it's uh, it's weird, man. This one doesn't change the models too much, though. This one keeps things pretty much the same, um, except for husks. Husks are changed pretty dramatically from uh, from the original, but husks also don't really matter. Um, who cares if you can't shoot their backpack because they like fired out the center you just shoot them in the center instead It's about the same difficulty. I would say Which is to say not that difficult. Oh, no, I can't I'm whiffing dude. I'm whiffing. I Do hate the, uh, the stupid Edars though Edars were a bad addition to the game. I'll say it. Okay. I'll say it. They're a bad addition. I've been feeling the, uh, with Monster Hunter World, I haven't been playing it as much as I used to. I've been playing Minecraft, you know? This is what I'm talking about, okay? This is what I, I talk about, it, but I get, like, super into one thing, and then, like, it changes, and I'm super into another thing. I still like Monster Hunter. The only reason I didn't play it today is because I was reading Azure and Teeler. And, uh, <laughs> I didn't want to stream because I was reading. Um, I still like Monster Hunter. I'm still playing it. Um, I still want to. But, uh, my main thing is, is, uh definitely Minecraft right now, rather than Monster Hunter, as much as I do want to play it in RuneScape as well. Um, I do want to play that as well in a similar position, but I talked about it, you know, I get I get super into one thing and then I, I, I kind of lose the interest in it. And how it was uh, very strange to me that Killing for 2 actually kind of like stuck with it, the series, you know? Um, that's what I'm talking about, right? I, I kind of hop around from one thing to the other as I get bored with it. Um, so right now I'm on Minecraft, and who knows how long that's going to go for. However, I've also shown to myself that uh, that I can stick with it, and I can continue to make the things that I want. Because you might feel like, hey, it's okay, you know, if you if you hop around and you do uh, whatever you want, then that's okay, right? Like, yeah, it, it is okay. Uh, it's not, like, a problem, but I want to be somebody who plays the same games forever and then gets really good at those games, you know? Like, I want to be somebody... Who, 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 like, I, I, I wish, I, it's not a regret of mine, right? Like, but I wish I could have had a Minecraft series that I started forever ago, because that just seems like it would be so much fun to have. And I wish I could do that kind of thing, you know, and I just, I, I haven't been able to, to stick with it. Um, now, however, I have. I have been able to stick with the, uh, the KF2 series. We got 400 episodes of this now. We're going to make it up to 4,000 eventually, you know, like, it's gonna happen right eventually um, and that's really cool to me and I've, I've definitely shown that I can uh, hey buddy where'd you go you're going down there um, I've definitely shown that I can I can I can accomplish it if I want to you know and that's 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 really important to me um, so the Minecraft thing will definitely be a uh, be a permanent or long term anyway series for sure and uh, RuneScape as well but like I, I yeah it's not a problem that I get you know distracted easily and I go because I'm still having fun right like when I when I get distracted and I go do something else I'm still enjoying what I'm doing I'm still having fun playing these games and whatever but I just sometimes I look at the people who are like better at games than me and we had we talked about being in the top 1% last time so I look at the, the top 0.1%, or in the case of RuneScape, you know, maybe the top 1% of the, 
Um, and look, these people are better than me at it. and Or at the very least, people who have been playing it longer and just have more things, you know? Like in uh, in Minecraft, I watch uh, I watch Etho, you know, he's got uh, a world that is about as old as I've been playing Minecraft, and you know, I just I, I just kind of wish that uh, I had started a world back then as well, and, and then stuck with that one world throughout all this, because it would be so much fun to see how the world goes through all these changes. I, I think that's really cool about how uh, Etho's uh, series kind of goes with that, right? Like, I really think, I really think that it's cool as you get to watch him fly around his world or whatever and, and see all the things and be like, oh, I remember doing that, or like, uh, you know, watching that, like, six years ago or whatever, you know what I mean? Um, but, uh, yeah, it just, um, to me, even though it's fun still hopping around from game to game, I just I wish I had uh, I had something that I could stick with for a long time and and really get good at that one thing you know like be be not just one of the 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 better players but like somebody who 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 people look at and they're like oh yeah if you want to see somebody who's good at it like go check out this 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 person right like that's that's what I want <laughs> you know like I don't know but I do I do also like to play other things that's why I want that variety style content so that I can change up what I do all the time and, and people are kind of just used to that but then I also want some things where I, I kind of stick with it you know like I and I don't know like the, the number of games that I wish I could stick with is just it's there's a lot of them too right like I want to be a clearly very clearly I want to be a, a killing floor 2 um, person for like you know ever and this is going great. <laughs> this is going fantastic. This one's working. Um, but uh, I also want to be a Minecraft person. I want to be a Path of Exile person. I want to be a RuneScape person. I want to be a Monster Hunter World person or just a Monster Hunter person in general. I want to be... Yeah, just a, a lot of things. And uh, obviously I don't have the time for that. I have to pick one. But then I'm just like, I don't really want to pick. So I want to do all of them. But then that's not going to give me what I want, so it's like, I don't know. I want something that I can't do. I want something I can't have, you know? It's okay. Life's still pretty good. Every day I get to look at my YouTube stuff and see that I got new subscribers or... Like a, a new number of likes on a video that I've never had before or a new, you know, highest performing video. I get to watch my KF2 content slowly overtake my old uh, viral content and... Well, just the one video really but I get to watch I get to watch all that happen and that feels really really good but um yeah it would be it would be nice if uh, as well if I could have just done something else I don't know it's, then again it's not really a regret like I'm pretty I'm pretty content with with where I'm at you know like I'm not uh, I'm not really like man my life would be so much better if I went... I think it would be, but, like, that's okay. Um, you know, I don't know. It's not It's not a regret of mine that I didn't uh, manage to do it. Because I still had fun along the way, and I'm still having fun now. And life's still pretty good, but, hey. That could have made a death if that guy was hurt. We're very lucky that that uh, husk decided not to explode himself, because that would have been a death. 100% point blank like that you're dead um, so yeah it's just kind of uh, it's a longing I guess it's a longing for that kind of uh, an experience because I just never had that Path of Exile is the closest I've had to it with with four, 4100 hours in it you know I'm playing that game a long time but I haven't played that in a year and a half maybe Again, like I kind of, kind of cycle around, right? I'm getting the craving to get back into Path of Exile lately. I don't know. Maybe we'll do it. <laughs> it's a good stream game for sure. Um, it's a good, it's a good game for streaming. I just, I don't know if I'll do it. I'm more of a standard player, but I'm also not like a, a big crafting player, you know. I just, I like, I like uh, buying stuff. I like crafting too, but I'm not, I'm not too into crafting. And then people don't really want to watch standard streamers, you know. People, what people really want to watch is people who are pushing the leaderboards, or uh, people who are like making the meta builds. You know, people want to watch the Mathels and the Havocs and the Racers and all that. The people who are like good at the games, right? 
I mean, I'm good at the game, but they want to watch people who are good at the, the league and experiencing all this new stuff and interfacing with all the new mechanics and everything, right? I think that's what people want to watch, and I'm not that. But it would be, Path of Exile would be a good game for me to play in my downtime. The only issue is I, I don't really get... You know, I'm not planning on giving myself an awful lot of downtime. Because I love all of the things that I'm doing. So, I don't know. It's, uh... So it's definitely a concern I've had for a long time, like years. This this is this is something that I've 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 worried about and and kind of wished I could have for for like literally like seven or eight years, you know, where I could just like stick with the one thing. And that's why the KF2 series has been so important to me because I've I've done that, you know, like I've stuck with it and I'm making the videos and they're moderately successful. Don't change perk. Uh, they're moderately successful and blah 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 you know like it's good it's nice it's great love it um i just i don't know i'll be happy with it in like five years when we have i mean how many episodes would that be like 2000 episodes or something stupid like that at that point i'll feel pretty good right i mean i feel pretty good at this point too but <laughs> i don't know i just um I, I've always wanted that kind of, like, intimacy with, with whatever I'm doing, you know what I mean? Like, does that make sense? To feel so, and, and, you know, the people who have these kinds of things, the people who have that, that kind of motivation to be playing one game for so long, typically, typically, it's, um, either a game... I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't. But uh, I I think that t largely it's it's people who uh, you either have friends who are doing it, right? And that's like the game that you play with your friends. Um, or um, you started playing it when you were young, and it's just like that's just that's you, you never tried any other games. Why would you try the games? This one's perfect. Or it's your job. You have to play it. You know. And it's not uh, you know purely responsibility like you want to but you also have to so it makes it a lot easier to motivate yourself to do it um but uh yeah i don't know maybe it isn't because i know a lot i've got a lot of friends who've been playing um like runescape for 20 years and, and have never like really taken a break from it never really got burned out on it or whatever and i have a lot of friends who've been playing path of exile for years and never really got burnt out on it and i've got friends who have been playing minecraft and never really got burnt out on it you know like it's not it's not a surefire thing that you're gonna be a like professional video gamer for you to be able to, to motivate yourself to do it. I just I haven't been able to do that. Maple Story was kind of it, honestly. Maple Story definitely was that for me. Back in the day, that was definitely my game. Um, if they didn't, in my opinion, ruin the game, um, then I probably would have stuck with it for like. I'd probably still be playing it today. That would probably be my game. Um, I think that old school Maple Story was like one of the best games in the world. Honestly, genuinely, really, genuinely, truthfully, I really do. Um, it had a lot of like pay-to-win aspects in it for sure. Um, like a lot of them, you know, Gatchapon and all of this. But I think it was one of the greatest games ever. Um, they just, they, they ruined it. I don't think it was Big Bang that ruined it. I don't think it was Big Bang that, uh, that ruined Maple Story. A lot of people do. A lot of people think that it was the Big Bang that, uh, ruined the game. You know, they're like, yeah, well, if Big Bang didn't happen, we'd still be playing. Give me a patch before Big Bang. I don't think Big Bang was really the one that, uh, that's responsible for the, uh, for, for its, its death. I think that even... I don't know. Because um, there was like a number of patches, like a number of big patches. You had Big Bang, you had Red, you had all these patches that kind of uh, made some pretty big changes to the game. Um, and I don't think any one of them did it, but I definitely think that uh, ultimately what, what kind of really did it in was uh, just, just the change in like how the game kind of worked. They went from... You have like your free market where you get to go and sell stuff. You you got your your grindy levels. You got 
you know, pay to win stuff, but uh They're short of cash. Reasonably fair pay to win stuff. Um to uh you know, no more free market. Everything is just bought with with like real money. Um like you act, like the game is run off of people trading things around with like dollars. Right? Like most things when you go into a Maple Story Discord and you look to get like an item, you will see a price in USD. Because people will buy it with USD. That's that's the that's the currency in MapleStory because it's just like gotten so inflated like it's just it's it's garbage. Um, you know, you got like cubes, you have to spend thousands of dollars on on cubes to get that like extra two percent bonus or something. Um, and to me, it's just I, I think that that's kind of what uh, what ruined it. It's just slowly removing everything that I loved about it. You know, there's there's no more party quests. There's no more partying really at all. Yeah, I, I I think that uh slowly they took away everything that was good about the game and uh and ruined it. I think that they ruined it. And it wasn't any one specific patch, you know? It was just over time they kind of uh even even you know, reboot, reboot. They had reboot for a while, which was like pretty good. Um But it was still like it just felt repetitive to me, you know? I guess that's kinda of what it boils down to, is it felt repetitive. The game felt repetitive, cause you got uh, I don't know, we're kind of just rambling at this point. But you got like, um, you know, your first boss. You're you're, you're getting ready to go and fight. Uh, we'll say like Chaos Rudibus, maybe Empress, or something, right? If you're getting ready to fight your first boss, we'll call it Chaos Rudibus, right? You grind it out. You get all your mesos to buy all of the cubes and and cube all your gear and you get some good stuff you kill chaos root abyss now you have new gear recube it all do it all over again now you go and fight you go fight you know damien or lotus i think and then you get you get the absolab stuff yeah you recube it all and you re you know star force it all and you redo it all and you get it all good again and then you're ready to take on you know lucid and then Will and Hilla and whatever other kind of new bosses they have now, but it just it feels like repetitive, you know? They like get the damage, kill the next boss. And it, you know, that's true of a lot of games, but I think the Maple Story does it in a way that is just unbelievably repetitive. Um You know, because it's just especially in reboot, because you just grind out mesos, get all of your stuff, go do like two or three hours of bossing now you have the new gear you have to cube that you go spend another like 100 hours farming mesos for new gear you go do another like five hours of bossing or 10 hours of bossing or whatever and you get your new gear and then another few hundred hours of, of meso farming and you throw in some training here and there which is just again hours of just meso farming basically and it's just it's just it's just, it's, just, it's a really repetitive game it's not grindy i mean it is grindy but it's grindy in a way that's just boring to me I guess is what uh, it boils down to for me I liked I liked the game before when Zackham was the the top thing and you had to party quest your way up and you know it would have been cool if they kept adding a new party quest or new things happening at the higher levels that was really cool to me but they kind of pivoted from that and they just keep extending the, the maximum level and then like adding in a new boss which is just the same stuff and I don't know they ruined it to me. But that that would have been my game if they didn't ruin it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future comments if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.